Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu in VirtualBox on Windows 11. First, you will need to download and install VirtualBox. You can find it on the VirtualBox website. I'll leave a link in the description to my video on how to install VirtualBox. So in this video, we will start with VirtualBox already installed. So let's start by downloading the Ubuntu installation media. Let's Google for Ubuntu, go to the Ubuntu website, and under products, we can find the Ubuntu desktop installation media. We will be downloading the Ubuntu desktop version 24.04 LTS. The LTS version is the one with long-term support. So that's the one you usually want to have. So you don't need to do new installations that often. You can't use this one for a long time since it's getting those updates for many years. So let's download it from this button. And you know, don't need to fill in any information here. The download will start automatically in a few seconds. I already have downloaded it, so we can just cancel the download and use the one which I have already downloaded. So next, let's open the Oracle VirtualBox Manager. And with the new button, we can create a new virtual machine. Let's call it Ubuntu. And we have a folder for the VM. And we can change that if you want. I'll use the default. And we need to choose the installation media. I have it here. And it does recognize that it's type Linux and it's uh, Ubuntu 64 bit distribution. And let's press the skip unattended installation. So then we can go through the manual steps of installing the operating system. Let's press on next. Let's give the virtual machine some memory. Your host machine will have some memory and some will be allocated to the virtual machine. So don't allocate too much. That's why it's showing in red here. This machine has this uh, Windows 11 laptop. It has 32 gigabytes of memory. Linux Ubuntu doesn't need super much, but I'm going to use it for some virtual machines. I'm sorry, some Docker's thing. So let's give it about 16 gigabytes. And let's give it six CPUs. Let's press on next. All right, we'll need to create a virtual hard disk 25 gigabytes is okay. Let's not allocate the full size because then it will would use the full size immediately. But this one will grow as needed. Let's press on next. And these settings are fine. We can press on finish. And now we have the virtual machine created with the settings here. We can still edit the video memory going to settings. And under display, let's give it some more video memory. And let's press on OK, and then let's start it. So now it has the installation media in the virtual disk drive. So it should go to that. So we have try or install Ubuntu. Let's select that. Just wait a moment for it to load the operating system. Now we can see it's showing Ubuntu 24.04 and it's starting up. This seems to take quite long, but let's wait. And now it's starting up into the installer. It has the Ubuntu operating system loaded up and I guess it's in memory at this point, but it's preparing the 
installation we need to make some selections and then we can continue you could do, do also the unattended installation that might be a bit uh, faster but then you won't have root access and you will need to do some steps to gain root access so this might be a bit easier let's choose English next I think I'm leaving all of these in default your keyboard layout I have a finish keyboard so I selected finish here and can test it works fine click on next use wired connection is fine for me an update is available for the installer yeah let's skip that install Ubuntu okay we don't have an auto install YAML, YAML so let's select the interactive installation um, essential web browser and basic utilities is fine and install what we need later yeah let's install the third party for graphics and wi-fi media formats i don't need that let's click again on next then it says erase disk and install ubuntu so it's erasing the virtual disk uh, in the virtual machine so that's fine create your account i'll click type in john john virtual box is fine username john password i'll put here ubuntu it says it's weak but it's okay for this demo i'll not require the password for logging in okay i'm in finland so the helsinki time zone is fine for me and it will create those default partitions i'm fine with that so hit install so copying the files will take some time i'll pause here and come back when we have something relevant that seemed to take forever but now it's done so we can press on restart now and now the virtual box is restarting i'm hoping it knows to unmount please remove the installation media then press enter okay okay let's see can we do that under devices we have optical drives remove disk from virtual drive so i cl first clicked on the image but it seems after that i can now click on that okay let's press enter let's see what happens okay it's booting up it seems like it's booting into the actual operating system not into the installation media anymore and now we are booted up into the operating system and let's test let's open the browser and see if we can actually do something here and it seems we can get into the internet and everything is working just fine if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching